Here it is, mystical magical. Last June 2010 and 10 days here in uh, January. We gave training to 30 Haitian interns to build this airship. It's basically a fully sustainable unit with a water system of its own that we're going to see. Um, we spent two months gathering materials. We use about 11,000 bottles, about 80 tires, a bunch of rubble, a bunch of styrofoam found off the streets, and uh, cement and rebar and other materials. Also, for a total cost of materials of $3,500. So, four to six people for a start for a fully sustainable unit is a good thing. And um, basically everyone who wants their own room can go proceed to build <laughs> more rooms like this. It took us in total, we'll say, two weeks to build this whole villa. Like we train the 30 people and they will become foremen to train the next people and the next people. So we're always going to be there with financing and foremen to help people build it. So, of course, with the Earthship crew, it took two weeks for the future projects. I don't know. You know, We're going to do schools, too. So The roof is meant to collect rainwater and send it that building there is the cistern that we mounted on tires. So ideally you want all the buildings that you build to catch rainwater. You can you don't need any extra pipes. You can just mold the gutter with your hands with recycled materials like bottles and cement and just build a gutter and basically conduct it to the cistern. But ideally every building you make you want it to catch rainwater and send to the cistern. You want to prevent molds, so you gotta keep it away from light at all costs. Up there there's a hole, there's a screen, and the water just drains right into there from the roof right there and uh, we just pounded some dirt into some tires mounted the cistern and uh, pretty much covered it with a cement wall of bottles a bottle wall sorry with some cement there this is where the water comes out so like I said we haven't put any extra pipes that we didn't need we tried to keep the cost as low as possible so when you live in, a, in an earth ship, um, you kind of have to relook at all the products that you use. You don't want to be putting any chemical products that can kill plants because your plants are going to be drinking the water that is uh, flushed away in the gravel here. So this is the shower. You take water from the cistern to do laundry and shower and all your needs. And basically the water drains into the gravel. Underneath me here is a hole lined with thick plastic. All the holes that we dig are contained with plastic. That's really important. So there's no toxins, nothing gets out. And basically the water just drains into the gravel and comes out. It never stays there. It drains right out into a pipe going out to the first uh, botanical cell, which is the gray water botanical cell. So I'll show you guys that. The water drains out into a hole that is dug right under here. Basically this whole platform you see here, there's two holes here. So don't get them mixed up. This is the first one here, ends here. Underneath, so that is the gray water botanical cell. Um, the water drains into it. You plant your food production. There's a phenomenon where uh, as the roots are drinking, as the roots are absorbing water, they release tons of oxygen. And the most natural way to clean water, from what I know, <laughs> is oxygen. So. The water gets cleansed by the roots as they're absorbing the water. 
Then there's a pump that's solar powered. It's enough to power the pump. Uh, it'll power, you know, you can charge your laptop, cell phone, have lighting, you know, your basic needs on a little solar panel like that, good for four to six people. But the pump is connected to the solar panel and basically the water is pumped with every flush. So let's go check out that. We're just gonna follow the water stream. bathroom, the toilet room, the flush, you get the grey water flushing toilet really so there's no waste. Underneath me right now is another big hole dug lined with plastic. Underneath the toilet here you have five big truck tires and uh, basically what happens is that the water and the urine gets filtered through the tires. Then you have gravel within the lined plastic, the lined plastic. So this is the second, this is the Blackwater Botanical Cell. There's a pipe, the water comes out, and basically that's it. You plant your food production and the, the trees keep absorbing the fluids fully. Over there is another Blackwater Botanical Cell that are connected, so if there's overflow, it's gonna go directly to that one. And um, there you go, you got your food production. As the sustainable movement, it, movement is the one a lot of us wanna see in Haiti. Um, but we need to adapt these projects to Haitian needs as best we can. Well, the bottles let light in, but uh, they can be decorative, you can mosaic. Basically, this unit, this whole thing was built by Haitian hands. A 30 crew, a 30 people crew, Haitians, uh, who built this with the guidance of the Earthship crew, guiding them through carpentry, through bottle laying, through, you know, all the steps. So their hands molded this, you know? Whatever you want. And when you're building with these kind of materials, you can build a castle. You can build whatever you want. <laughs> tires, if there is an earthquake, the tires pretty much, they're pretty, they're packed with dirt. They're really, really, really heavy and they're stuck together like that. Okay, they go like that. And then there's rebar that comes in the middle through the tires like that. If there's an earthquake at the worst, they'll go boom, 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 boom. As for roofing, we keep the roof really light. It's basically rebar domes. Uh, with chicken wire and plaster and then up in the roof there it's uh, styrofoam in rice bags you know if there's an earthquake it's it's very lightweight Haiti projects I'm seeking people to come and develop every aspect of this kind of sustainable living so because one project can't do it all so that's where we need the help of everybody I'm searching for people to come and show people how to do free energy in Haiti to someone to travel throughout all the zones you only need one interested person in every zone to make it happen for all of Haiti. The island is not that big. <laughs> and uh, transport as well, sustainable transport, electric bicycles, we can make the parts in Haiti. Uh, so yeah, I am seeking people to uh, complete this movement so we can bring a model, village model, you know, completely sustainable that we can bring to the people. Merci beaucoup. Mm -hmm. Merci. Mm -hmm. It's about